We all love hailing a car with an app. It's easy, it's convenient, but the truth is, when that car shows up, you really don't know who's in the driver's seat. Uber driver under arrest. A driver accused of raping his passenger. Or stepping into a vehicle of a total stranger who could harm you, who could wreck the car. And so there's an inherent vulnerability to these ride-sharing programs. Fire 911. No one needs to be riding to take the road. When an Uber passenger places a request, it gets routed to a nearby driver, and as soon as they accept it, they go drive to the passenger. And that passenger will actually see the picture of the driver, and they can follow along on their route as they drive to pick them up. My name is Harry Campbell, and I'm the founder of The Rideshare Guy. It's a blog, podcast, and YouTube channel for Uber and Lyft drivers. I've heard a lot of stories from people out on the road, but never anything as crazy as what Jason Dalton told the police. Is Uber a U-B-E-R? Mm-hmm. You just recently been joined up with them. Yeah. Am I okay to talk yeah. about what happened? Yeah. Obviously, the goal of these detectives is to get to motivation. What drove Jason Dalton to commit these crimes? The one thing that no one in this entire country will ever forget is a killer who says he was motivated by an Uber app. I know that you guys are going to have a hard time believing this, but it literally took over mind and body. The Uber app? Yes. It made no sense to anyone that the Uber app would take over him and force him to go on this shooting spree. This is the app as it looked in 2016 when Jason Dalton was driving for Uber. This is the driver app, right? Yes. He remembers seeing uh, the symbol of the Eastern Star, and that started this whole thing. Are you talking Eastern Star like the Masonic? Eastern yes. Star? Okay. You know, Jason Dalton talks about the Eastern Star. Yeah. I mean, could this have been the Eastern Star? It's a hexagon. I mean, it is a hexagon. I don't know. I guess this part, I think, really looks like yeah. part of the Eastern Star. These are stars, right? I mean, or they're, they're triangles, but... I think it's kind of like one of those part. mind games where you see what you want right. to see. I really didn't even see what the... what the some, I, I just tapped it, and then it was like a devil head that popped up. It was some sort of, like, horned, horned head, like a cow head or something. And I pressed that button, and that's where... Unbelievable. Nobody believed him. Jason Dalton talked about seeing a devil somewhere. Mm -hmm. You have any idea what he was talking about? So this is actually the Uber logo at the time on the passenger app. To me, it looks like a U, but I think to Jason Dalton, it may have been the devil horns right here at the top. It was red when I first started. Okay. You switched from red to black. Okay. When it's in that, in that black mode, yeah. it literally has control of What's he talking about? I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only thing I could think of when he said that is the surge pricing. And whenever there's surge pricing, you're going to see large swaths of red on the driver app. It looks like most of the screen is red. Yeah, as you can see in the app, I mean, there's not much black. There are a couple times where there's going to be a little more black on the screen. So this is what a ride request looks like. So at this point, there's a lot more black on the screen. And then it would do little blinks at me. The phone one? Mm-hmm. And then I didn't understand what those signified. Well, what does it signify? I believe that one ding means yes, and two dings means no. In terms of what? What it wants you to do. When you get a request from a passenger, you hear a dinging. So there's no one ding or two ding. It's a place. dinging noise. It'll keep dinging for 10 or 12 seconds unless you tap the screen to accept the ride.